you're undeclared, it's okay if you just branch off. Can't release it in time. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is America and we're going to talk about in this video if you are confused about what major you want to go into. So that would make you undeclared, but is that right? Is that wrong? We're going to get into the video and I'm going to let you know. The ones who are undeclared, I just want to let y'all know it's okay, but make sure that eventually you do find something that you are passionate about while you're at college because you don't want to be wasting money and not have a focus in a major. So typically the first two years you can honestly explore around the majors but by the end of your sophomore year you need to make sure that you have declared a major because you only have two more years left to finish a full major that's all the classes that's involved with it maybe even you might have to do internships or job shadowing even community service hours a lot of people wait to the last minute maybe even their junior year just to change to criminal justice major and then they end up having to stay an extra year just to finish that. And then that's more money that you're spending just so that you could finish that major when you just gotta make sure that you're on top of it. So the first two years, definitely say you can explore around with the undeclared major. You need to make sure eventually you find something that you are interested in. So I definitely encourage you to join clubs maybe even talk around with the professors who are in that major that you might be interested in and ask them some questions and email them and set up a meeting and let them know like hey can we meet so i could go over and talk maybe about this certain major and what it might entail so if you want to possibly talk to that professor about the major you're interested in. I actually have a YouTube video and it's how to format a proper email to your professors and I'll add it up here. It's basically a step-by-step -step guide that shows you how to properly format an email to a professor if you want to maybe set up a meeting or you just want to have a more professional conversation with them so the link will be provided with a major it is a lot of credits you don't want to be wasting your time away stuck on not knowing what you want to do and then you're taking all these classes and maybe even electives and you don't have a focus and the major that you choose you also have to consider if there's a possibility that you have to go to graduate school as well with an undeclared major it's okay but the first two years is what you have and after that you really need to narrow it down and focus in so with me I chose anthropology and I also added minors as well so you also have to consider if you are declaring a major and you are thinking about doing a minor on top of that make sure that you have enough time to do that major as well as that minor I did anthropology major and I double minored in criminal justice and forensic psychology when I added those minors I did that towards the end of my sophomore to beginning of my junior year and that wasn't really a lot of time for me because I had 16, 17 credit semesters. I was piled up with classes. And of course, it's okay if you join a club that has nothing to do with your major. I know at one point I had joined the education club. It was about like writing and literature. And that's not something I was really like 
you know, like extremely interested in like I wasn't going for that as my major if you're undeclared it's okay if you just branch off can't release it in time oh look around and see what interests you but you gotta make sure when that deadline hits that you know exactly what you are doing let me know in the comments down below if y'all were undeclared and you ended up finding out exactly what you want to do. I want to know what majors y'all are taking. Make sure you like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already, and I'll see y'all in the next video.